Hey guys, welcome to my video. So this is part two on this little uh, Bedini window motor. Um, the first video I had these coils in parallel and now they're in series with each other. So we could get a little bit reduced RPM. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous one, um, definitely watch that too. So um, this is just for those of you that didn't see the previous one. It's a little Bedini circuit, uh, typical Bedini output. Um, into cap dump, into second battery, and um, this has a little three-quarter inch magnet in it. Um, I made this to where you could take off the coils and change them out for different gauges and different windings. So one thing I did change instead of a uh, instead of resistors, uh, I changed it into a light bulb. And um, why is that important? Because um, the resistors on motors like this can get really hot uh, if you're just doing one circuit. So uh, light bulb is really interesting because um, the resistance is real low when it's uh, before it gets lit up. So on a Benini motor you need the low resistance to get it started and then as it goes up once the filament starts glowing the resistance gets higher. So uh, it works really good to get the motor going and then have a higher resistance where you get a better RPM and better power. Uh, but it's also nice because they're designed you know, to make light and have heat and it's not really an issue because these can get really hot and um, if you don't have the flame retardant ones they could even catch on fire so to be kind of careful um, so like I said the light bulbs really neat um, you could put different ones in this is a smaller one um, a little bit bigger one on there um, this one I kind of set up to do this prop so we could have a little bit of a fan in these hot days um, you want to go faster then the little bit higher resistance bulbs gets you a little bit more RPM um, but for this experiment this light bulb seems to work pretty nice so we'll give it fired up and take a look so this is right around 10,000 RPMs so on the previous video we were at 26,000 so putting it in series you know made us use a little bit less power we have low rpm but a lot more torque and um, like I was saying on the other video what's neat is you look at the amp meter as I start loading this up it kind of goes up more and more and then it'll reduce back down but this is burning my fingers so what we're going to do, you can see right now it's running a little over an amp. Um, here's the scope shot. It's um, producing quite a bit of spikes, it's just going so fast. And you can see the cap dump is working pretty nicely. And um, some people ask why, why only 16 volts. Well, if you go over 16 volts right now, you could hear it kind of surging. And the higher voltage you do on the cap dump, the more the motor is going to fluctuate. So this is a happy medium between you know annoying up and down and you know manageable uh, if you don't want this you could take out the cap dump and just go straight into the battery then the motor won't surge but it's kind of neat watching it go like this so, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this prop on here and you guys could see a little bit different with it and stop this down make sure this thing's on here good and um so let's fire it up like this now. So right away we're using a little bit less power, about 200 milliamps less. And you can notice that the light bulb isn't as lit. So it's kind of governing this at a lower RPM, which is nice. And um, But what's even more interesting is when it's under load, you could see on the scope now, so this is the magnet between the on and offs right here. This is the on and offs, but when you kind of tune it right and stuff, you get like 10 extra spikes in here. So this actually kind of oscillates itself as it's running when you, you know, don't provide enough power to the transistor, it, it'll oscillate like this, which is kind of a neat thing. And with this little six inch prop, at about a thousand RPMs, and we're using just under an amp, but the cap dump is still pulsing about every every second or so. 
and there's not a whole lot of surging going on that you could hear when you put more load on it you don't hear as much of the surge as when it's at full speed so pretty neat so like I said these are these are available on my website these cap dumps um, I'm probably gonna put this on in a little while so if you guys are interested just leave it in the comment um, here's the store kenergy dot store so thanks for watching